Hello everyone and welcome back to Mario. Last time, we made our way to the Crystal Palace, got a key and a couple other badges, and then I realized after recording, the past two episodes did not have the audio and I had no real way of getting it back. This time, we're gonna go back into the Crystal Palace. Or, not Crystal Palace, we're gonna go deeper into the Crystal Palace in search of whatever is blocking our path. I am slightly curious, is it just a faster way back here? It is. Oh, that's cool. That way we don't have to really use the blue switch at all anymore. Anyway, I see you're in my way. Who are you? The great and honorable Crystal King said that I can't let anyone pass. You're up to no good. I'm gonna have to hurt you. Oh! You're a new magic Hoopa. No, I meant to... Luckily, this badge works an infinite amount of times per combat. This is the Grey Magic Koopa. He's one of the magicians in the Koopa Clan. Those grey robes aren't very flashy, but they're kind of cool. Max HP 11, attack fire 3, defense fire 0. We can use magic to make his companions transparent. We can't attack enemies that are transparent. Let's try and beat him before that becomes an issue. What do you say? That is actually very powerful. He's basically just... Bow. Oh no, I don't... Uh, this is bad. Time out? We haven't used this yet, but... This sleep version is very powerful, so let's see if the timeout version is more effective on these. I should have used sleep. Clubbers are weak to sleep. What was I thinking? Uh, you know what? Oh, you're really weak to sleep. I'll take that. Let's just prioritize the Clubba. I'm not too worried about the Magic Koopa. At least this fight. Because of uh, how frozen in time he is. We should be good just to stomp on him a bunch and stuff. Because not what is he going to do? Move? In fact, I'll just do that. Don't even need to hit him with the proper attack. Unfortunately, he only drops one star point due to the fact Magic Hoopas all drop that much. Oh, a coin, he ex a coin increase! Please have none of the coins fall into the void there. I couldn't. That blocks that path back there as well. I won't let you. I won't let you and I won't let. You. What? What? I won't let you. I won't let. I won't and I won't and I won't. You can't. You have to go through me if you want to get past. All right. Fine. Bye. Oh gosh. Uh, let's try a lullaby this time. See if the clubbers are susceptible to it, like I think they are. The clubbers are, but the Magic Koopa isn't. This, honestly, is better. Right, it's not this. It's not holding it that. Alright, you're making... Oh, you're... Oh, wait, you're a white Magic Koopa, not a gray Magic Koopa. So you heal instead. Alright, let's just take down the white... What the white my, my magic group of this turn? I can just normal attack the clubbers to death because they're not a threat anymore. Easy kills, free EXP. Nowhere near level up though. And that clears out both of the back passages. We have one more. Can I? <laughs> you can't first strike them. Oh. It doesn't count, so I just skipped their dialogue. Alright, good to know. What do you do? This is a green magic Koopa. He's one of the magicians in the Koopa clan. I have to admit, I like those green robes. Very cool. Max HP 11, attack for 3, defense fire 0. He can magically increase the defense power of others. He looks pretty surly. Right, there's too many of these guys not to put them to sleep. I am not going to want to take all that damage with 9 health remaining. Oh, we got the Magic Koopa as well. That's actually pretty lucky. Koopa, you're up. We should hopefully get a, uh, a heal block soon, so go for that and Mario finish off the Magic Koopa. 
I did fail it. No, wrong enemy. Please don't be spiked. All right, we're good. You know what? Doesn't matter what order we take them out in. This should finish you off, I hope. Yep. And now you're all alone. Well, you were all alone. Now you're gonna meet your friends again. And we can't go any further here. But looks like I know what to do, though. Just have to head all the way back, Cooper. Go over there, because I can have you do that. Yep, right through here to the right. I am very glad I did not check out this site first. Alright, and... A red switch here. Oh, I see. Bombette, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have to trap you over here. Now nah, I can just hit this switch when I'm on the other side. I'm sure there's other partners that let me do the same- Oh, that's cool. Uh-oh. I was gonna say it's cool how there's a club on one side and a dupla ghost on the other. But I kind of took damage before that could happen. There's also a chest on the other side. Oh, this again. You're not even doing it properly. You've given up. Mario, I'm the real Cooper. But of course, you know that. Um, don't you, old boy? Mario, look at me. I'm the real deal. Nobody else looks like Cooper. Mario, come on. I'm Cooper. I mean, this is ridiculous. I'm the real Cooper, Sonny. You believe me, don't you? I'm the real Koopa. There ain't any doubt in your mind, did there, brother? Okay, old Bean. You best smash these imposters one by one. That's a good idea. Brother, smash them all except me, okay? I'll just go up. <laughs> you must use the imposter. Even Cooper's doing that. Wow. Must have some sort of sixth sense, Sonny. Remember me, I'll return. I will not. Ouch, that hurts! Still, oh, good job. This is an incredibly keen eye to spot me. Darn it. Hmm, Mario, well done. I don't know how you did it, but you found me out. Goodbye. I'm sorry, brother. It has to be done. Brother, I said I was the real Cooper so many times. So mean. Just joking. I definitely thought I had to go in there. Really? How? How do those... Yes, yeah, it's good call, Mario. I knew you'd get it right. Those were the worst disguises ever. Yeah, they were just different characters. Let's see what's down this path. I could use some actual healing. Uh, maple syrup. You know what? I'm not giving up the shooting, shooting star, I just need to use the maple syrup. Also, it told me where the star piece over here was. Got both really quickly. Alright, I see what I have to do. There's gonna be a living version of that enemy on the other side, isn't there? Uh. Well, that plan didn't work. How do I get to the other side then? Oh, wait. <laughs> I figured it out! They mimic my actions, so I'll just have them do it for me! Now the question is, what's gonna happen when we see him on the other side? They're, they're gone. Okay, these reflections are really trippy. Can I blow this wall up? No. I'll figure that out later. There's a chest I wanted. Oh, a jam and jelly, uh... Pick you up in a second. Was not expecting to find you here. Oh, it's not an enemy, it's just a small block, okay. Uh-oh. Ah, well, fine. They, put, they always put a spring down here. 
<laughs> Miss. First strike, yeah! That's what I was going for. Okay, these enemies are actually starting to get tough. There were two separate magic hoopas buffing those guys in that one fight alone. And that is actually kind of worrisome. What do we have here? P down, D up. We got the opposite badge that, of that last time in actually a very similar area. Kind of nice that we get the normal ver- or I guess the power version this time. Also, one thing to note. Don't wear both of those at once. They literally just counteract each other. There's no reason to do it. I will be here, but before I do that... Yeah, the Mario over here is gone, but how do I... I want to get that chest. Oh, I see. You can only see it from over there, and it's hard to notice. But... If I get Bombed out... This wall can be blown up from this side. Oh, I missed. Uh oh. This is hard. I get mimicking the action of your per the partner over there, but they're already gone. Just give up the act. Only XP double here. That's actually kind of useful. 16 star points. And I just ruined my nice number of coins. Ah, well, not much I can do about it. What do we have over here, though? Triple di- oh! Just an upgraded version of Double Dip, then. Alright. Probably gonna cost more BP and FP, though, which is perfectly fine. Right, and I believe, yes, this has moved. Now we just have to go over here. There's Duplicos this time. I'll still get with that first strike. Oh, this actually looks dangerous. Luckily, the only enemy that could hit me just turned into bomb bed. Hello. A mystery. I can't take you with me, unfortunately. Oh, and I just accidentally put myself out of danger strats. Let's hope there's no more enemies. Because that could be really bad. I'm pretty much out of FP as well. Alright, we got a palace key. So that should unlock both doors up here. If I'm correct, because the mirror thing should make the lock be the same lock. How far away is this thing anyway? Like, you couldn't put it in one room closer and just have the enemy blocking that. No, but yes, it did get both. Uh. Can't go through here unless you solve the puzzle. Once you solve the puzzle, we'll let you through. Alright, at least I don't have to fight yet, because I just said that would be very bad. It's not that I can't win, I just have to get very lucky. Right, but the puzzle should be self-explanatory, yep. Out of curiosity, what happened- oh, I can't move you that way. I can only move you ways you're facing. Oh, wait. Oh, they face me. Okay. So I, they can only go in the direction they're facing. I see. Go through here and that. Yep. Got it. Also, there not being a mirror in this room makes things a lot easier as well. Also, I like it that how that means we get to see them from all angles. So I need you to look this way. Oh gosh, the front-facing dinosaur can't hurt you, neither can the back-facing one. I also believe that these guys here actually used to be an enemy. They have stats and stuff, they just aren't an actual enemy in the game for some reason. Not sure why, just something I know. And it looks like this is the safe room. So with that, I'm gonna end this episode off here. Next time. It looks like we're going to face off against this Crystal King I've heard so much about. But until then, I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you later. Bye!